our YouTube and Fallout community. So we're finally getting into our very first Q&A for the channel. Uh, we're going to try and make it at least a weekly thing if we can. Maybe multiple times a week depending on how often I get asked questions. But at least we're going to try to do it and we're going to try to do it every Sunday if we can. Which is why I'm uploading this video today. Uh, we're taking questions from everywhere. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, anything like that. Um, I actually did a video for this like a long time, like eight months ago. I went and looked uh, on my videos on YouTube and like... The first time I did this Q&A thing was eight months ago, and I never got around to making the video. The questions on the video itself were like, you know, they weren't good questions anyway. But all the same, we're finally getting into it. So, first up, we got asked by two people the same exact question. Keanu the Synth on Instagram and Switch Gamer Ali on Twitter both asked me what my favorite game of all time was. And when I was a lot younger, it was probably Super Mario Brothers Three. That was like the, probably the, I have somebody actually asked me what my favorite or what my first game was. And I'm pretty sure it was Super Mario Bros. 3, which is why it was my favorite game up until about my teenage years. And then it became Final Fantasy 7. And it's kind of been Final Fantasy 7 ever since. And it's really mostly just Final Fantasy 7, like the kind of the universe of it. Because they made so many branch off things. They got their own movie. They had the PSP game, Crisis Core, which is... It's kind of tied for me with Final Fantasy 7 on which one is actually my favorite. It's kind of like the whole story and everything of Final Fantasy 7. So that's probably my favorite game. Switch Gamer also asks, who's your favorite group to choose from from any Fallout game, Brotherhood, Enclave, etc.? Now, to my knowledge, I've only ever played 3 New Vegas and 4. To my knowledge, you don't ever get to join with the Enclave. I think you might be able to do some quests for some people who are part of the Enclave, but you never really get to join them. 3 didn't even have any factions anyway. Um, if we're just talking about specific games like New Vegas, my favorite's the NCR. Just in terms of the content, because joining with the NCR grants you a shit ton of quests and like money and stuff from those quests and things to do so the NCR is probably the better one to cho to choose plus they're a lot more threatening like uh so i'd rather not be against them they you know they are, like legion a lot of the legion is just they're pretty easy up up until like the end of the game when you got to fight like atlantis who's like really fucking hard um and in fallout 4 it would be the institute uh they were the ones i went with on my first playthrough and i'm really glad that i, I stuck with them on the first playthrough because if you go against them and like destroy the institute, you lose that on that location, which is a very fucking cool location to have. And the other ones just weren't as interesting to me in terms of like story. Like Brotherhood's got a pretty good story, I guess, but the institute is just cooler to me. And you get you become like the leader of the institute, which I thought was a really cool touch as well. Also, I should add if we're if we're talking about just overall who my favorite group is, it is by far the Enclave. They're the bad guys. I was super super disappointed that they didn't make any sort of appearance at all in Fallout 4. You think there should have been something, but there wasn't. Even if it was just like a small little addition like a random encounter or something like that but there's no enclave to be seen to my knowledge at all in fallout 4 which was very disappointing but they are my favorite group all right so nick lawson 4 asked this question as i was recording the video so i want to throw it in here near the other kind of faction based discussion and he asked if every event in fallout happened leading up to 2277 and you woke up in new vegas which faction would you join now this is kind of a kind of a broad question because i don't know if you mean like every fallout game so far like, we just put the events before 2277. 2277 is when Fallout 3 took place. Um, if we're talking, and I wait, if I wake up in New Vegas, and if I'm choosing between the New Vegas factions, it's still probably going to be NCR. They're just the better choice, really. <laughs> uh, the Brotherhood was cool in, in New Vegas as well. I wouldn't want to be on the bad guy's side. I wouldn't want to be with, you know, the Legion or anything like that, because they're really bad. But it'd probably still be the NCR. Or, actually, I might join with the Boomers, if they wouldn't blow me to shit. If I can make it to Nels Air Force Base without them completely disintegrating me, I might join with them because they're pretty safe. Nightmare51B, good name by the way, asked me what my favorite dessert is, and it is by far cheesecake. Like, I'm not a person who eats sweets. I somewhat watch what I eat and drink, not a whole lot. I'm not exactly a healthy person. But when it comes to cheesecake, it is my weakness, and I will eat every cheesecake in sight. These next three are pretty similar questions, so I'm going to kind of group them together. First up, McNair asks, what made you start a YouTube channel, and what motivates you to create cool content? First off, thank you for uh, thinking my content's cool cool to hear um jakers brand asks what made you want to be a youtuber and code bear 5 asks what's your favorite thing about follows in youtube well first off i like having a lot of followers on stuff because it gives me a will to live so i don't fucking kill myself not really um i started a youtube channel because for one that's what youtube is pretty much dominated by these days is gaming channels and i've been gaming all my life for as long as i can remember like i said i super mario bros 3 is probably the first game i ever played so that's the original nintendo back in like you know the 90s and I've been literally gaming all my life. Like, it's either a console game, it's a mobile game on, like, a phone, or it's, like, a handheld game system. Like, I've been gaming all my life, and I was like, well, I might as well do something with it. Let's create a YouTube channel. And I've, I've gone, I've made multiple YouTube channels throughout, you know, my life a couple times, but this is the first one that actually kind of took off because of Fallout 4. 
And I don't know, I just it's something to express myself and I love the creation process. I love creating something myself and then letting other people experience it. I don't know, it's really cool. My dude Mark on Instagram asks, what's your favorite gun to use in Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4? Now see, the jump from Fallout 3 to Fallout New Vegas was really, really good because you got a shit ton more weapons and a shit ton more perks. And we got a bunch of like lever, we got like almost a new category because we had like lever action weapons and stuff and there's perks specific to like the lever action weapons. Um, I really love shotguns when it comes to Fallout and specifically Fallout New Vegas because they had like shotgun specific perks which is really, really nice because it's that's a weapon I go to in most any kind of shooter, like Call of Duty, anything. I use shotguns. And they had the, with the addition, with one of the add-ons, they added in the perk that allowed you to, when you shoot when you shoot somebody with a shotgun, they had a chance to knock them down on the ground, which is something I took advantage of. Because it worked on, if I'm not mistaken, literally everybody, even boss fights. You could knock them on the ground, and while they're on the ground, you could just keep shooting them, and they had to wait so long to get back up. Other than that, New Vegas, I like the lever action weapons. Lever action rifle, which is something from Fallout 3 Point Lookout that I really, really love. They had like a lever action rifle. I also love the cowboy repeater. Um, when it comes to Fallout 4, my favorite gun for the longest time near the beginning of the game was the Deliverer. It has like a reduced uh, action point cost and you get improved accuracy and vats. But with the Deliverer, I used to use McCready's perk before it got nerfed where like, no matter where anybody was or no matter how far away they were from you, you could the McCready's uh, companion perk was busted, was like broken or glitched to where you always had 95% accuracy headshots. So with the reduced cost for the Deliverer, I used to just like I'd go into like a town with like you know 15 ghouls and I would just like get them all back to back, but bam, headshot one kill. It was really really awesome. So those are my two favorite. Those are my favorite guns from those games. Random ass fan page asks bands, and I'm assuming they mean favorite bands. Um, my number one favorite band of all time is Breaking Benjamin. Um, it's kind of almost favorite band. It's kind of been back and forth, but it's been like Slipknot and Stone Sour. Uh, it's more so Corey Taylor, just in general, the lead singer of both of those bands. But I, I like both bands pretty much equally because of Corey Taylor. And at one time, Stone Sour was more or less my favorite band. But it's it's kind of been Breaking Benjamin since I was uh, about a teenager. And it, other than that, I mean, I like... Uh, it's mostly alternative rock and very little rap. Childish Gambino is my favorite rapper. Uh, I listen to a lot of white rappers, honestly, like uh, Black Bear, NF, Whit Lowry. Which, if you guys are on my Instagram, you see me share Whit Lowry shit all the time. So those are some of my favorites. Next up, Taco Bella asks, Why do you seem so mentally disturbed and depressed? And I'll be honest with you guys, straight up, I am not a synth. I am in no way metallic. You don't have to worry about that. And I know that's something a synth would say, but I am not a synth. And if I seem depressed, it's probably because I fucking am. So these two asked somewhat similar questions, so we're going to kind of group them together. Pineapple Float asks, How did you get so dashing, David? I don't know, it just comes natural to me. And 75% of Maximum Lasagna, which is probably the greatest fucking name of anybody on any social network ever asked, did you really have to think of your channel name or was it super easy? Okay, um, let's give you an or let's give you the origin story of Dashing David, how it all began. Um, I've been watching wrestling pretty much all my life, and there's a wrestler several years ago named Cody Rhodes, who at one point during his gimmick became Dashing Cody Rhodes, where he just kinda talked about being dashing all the time. And me and my friend used to go around calling ourselves dashing. Just I'd be like, I'm dashing, he's like, No, I'm dashing. And at one point, I ended up changing my name on Facebook to Dashing David. And that's literally where it began. It just kind of stuck. Everybody kind of called me Dashing David. I had people call me Dashing David in real life. And then I just started using it on just pretty much every social network and everything. So when I created a YouTube channel, I was like, well, fuck, everybody kind of knows me on social network as Dashing David. Might as well stick with the name. And that's where it all began. Next up, Joey Minor 52 who may or may not be my actual brother, who knows, asks a couple questions. Two are kind of similar. He says, now that Fallout is done with DLC content, what do you plan on focusing on next? And do you ever plan on focusing any significant amount of time towards non-Bethesda content? Um, we still stick with Bethesda content. We always will. It's what the channel is about. It's what I made the channel for. Um, we already don't even focus specifically on Bethesda stuff. Like, I've already uploaded, you know, I've uploaded Reddit Redemption stuff whenever that got announced, Reddit Redemption 2, rather. And we've already uploaded, like, one uh, Final Fantasy 15 video, and I have more planned for the future, like a review and shit like that. So we're definitely going to focus on more stuff. And then he also goes on to ask if I'm even daddy as fuck, which obviously, y you know your boy's daddy. And last up for the first Q&A for my channel, we end on a classy note. Daquan the Ginger asked if I would ever eat ass. And <laughs> uh, let's put it this way. I've never done it, but it is not off the table. So that's it for the very first Q&A for my channel, guys. Um, I got, I tried to include, is a long Q&A. I try to include just about everybody's questions. There's a few I didn't use, so I'm sorry if I didn't use your question. Um, I may use it in the future. If you want to 
you know, include a question for the next video, you can comment below on the video itself, or you can hit me up on my social networks, which are always linked below. You know, Twitter, Instagram are the two best ways to do it, or YouTube itself. Um, we may do another one this week if we get enough questions. If not, we're going to save them for next Sunday, which is when I try. I'm going to try to do this uh, on every Sunday if I can. Um, if you want to like the video, of course, thumbs up is always appreciated. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. It's definitely the best way to help me out. I think we covered some pretty important topics today. I mean, it's necessary that you guys know whether or not I eat ass. I'm glad I'm being asked the hard-hitting questions. Later.